So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this name here that says Hector Garcia, and this is in proper uh, function. And then I'm going to use the equals upper formula, open parentheses, select that string. So this will be B2, close parentheses, and this is the formula. And then I'll hit enter. And what it will do is it will take uh, the text string and make it all uppercase. Now, as you guessed it, uh, lower will do the exact same thing, but make it all lowercase. So I'll select uh, this text here that's in proper format and I'll make it into lower, press enter, and then it will make everything uh, lowercase. So as you can see, upper makes it uppercase, lower makes it lowercase. Now proper is a really nice one and a lot of people use this one, which is taking uh, text that's maybe all uppercase, all lowercase, or maybe a mixture, and then basically organize it into proper format, which will make the first letter of each word capital and everything else lowercase. Now what trim does is trim gets rid of any unwanted spaces. So as you can see with this text, there's a couple of unwanted spaces at the beginning of the name. So if I do equals trim and select the, the cell there, close the parentheses and hit enter, now you're gonna see all the unwanted spaces go away. And you can also uh, nest the formulas so we can do trim and proper at the same time. So I'm gonna do equals uh, proper. So equals proper. I'll open the parentheses and inside proper, I'll do trim, open parentheses, select the cell, close parentheses, close parentheses, two of them. And notice that is the trim formula nested inside of a proper formula. So when I hit enter, it will do both trim it and make it in proper format. So that's lower, upper, proper, and trim that work really, really well. Now there's a really interesting one called exact. And what exact does is it will take two strings and it will deliver true or false whether the, the two strings are identical. So for example, we have these two that look identical. So I'm gonna do equals exact, and I have to select both texts. So I'll select text one and then comma text two. So notice the formula, how I'm selecting uh, both of these and I'll close parentheses and hit enter and it will deliver a true. So that looks true, they both look identical. If I take this exact same formula and do the exact, and do the next string here. So I'll select this one, comma, and then select the second one, close parentheses, and hit enter. Now this delivers a false. So I can also nest my proper formula inside of the exact formula to see if after I convert it to proper, would it be exact? So how would that work? So that would be exact, open parentheses, then we have the first string, comma, and then the second text will be the proper version of the second one. So we'll do proper, open parentheses, select this text, close parentheses, close parentheses. So the first string will take it at face value. The second one, it will resolve, resolve for proper and then check to see if it's exact. So I hit enter and notice that yes, true. So the, the proper version of this text is exact uh, as the first one. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky and, uh, and this is a really important one because this is where trim becomes really effective. So I'm gonna copy uh, the formula style and compare these two, I hit enter, and now this is delivering a false. Now, wait a second, I'm looking at these two and these look identical. These look identical, how in the world is there a false here? I'm making bold here, make it a little bit easier to read. These look identical, but let's explore a little bit further. So I'm gonna double click on the text and click on the cursor up here and notice that I don't have any extra spaces on the first string. I'm gonna click on the second one, double click, come in here, and notice that there is an empty space and you really can't see it. That's kind of the tricky part of Excel, there it is. There's a little tiny space there that you can't see. So you can follow the same logic here and we'll replace this with a trimmed version of it. So we'll do trim of the second string, close parentheses, so again, we replaced it with a trimmed version of that, which will remove that space at the end. And now, perfect, we got true. That's exactly what we were looking for.